One person was injured when a tour helicopter crashed on a remote beach on the Hawaiian island of Kauai, the county fire department said. An aircraft operated by Jack Harder Helicopters crashed at Honopu Beach on the Nepali coast, a rugged stretch of Kauai that is only accessible by hiking, kayaking, or aerial tour, the helicopter was carrying one pilot and four passengers, the Kauai Fire Department said in a news release. One passenger suffered a back injury. The pilot and other three passengers were not hurt, panicked onlookers filming the scene caught the moment the chopper slowly hovers up into the air before the pilot quickly loses control causing the aircraft to spin around, jolt back and forth and collide into a restaurant, over 70 rescue workers rushed to the scene to free the hanging passengers. One of the two pilots in the helicopter suffered a broken leg and was rushed to hospital. An investigation is now underway as local authorities try to figure out whether the accident was down to a technical issue with the aircraft. The helicopter's model was a Bell 206, often used in Medellin to transport tourists across the city in 15 minutes. Los míos se cayó eso. Yo cuando vi eso dando vueltas, yo Patricia se cayó eso. Se cayó el helicóptero, se cayó el helicóptero. No. Venga las ambulancias. Sweden to provide Ukraine with assault boats. The Swedish government has presented its largest military aid package to Ukraine to date, worth 630 million euros. This package is the 15th that Sweden has sent to Ukraine. Ultimately, it is about humanity and decency, Defense Minister Paul Johnson said. It is also about protecting values and interests that are important to Sweden and its own interests, he added. The support package includes 10 amphibious assault boats of the Stridsbat 90 class, 20 amphibious boats, underwater weapons such as mines and torpedoes, a number of anti-aircraft systems such as Robot 70, anti-tank robots of the TOW model, grenade launchers with ammunition, artillery shells, hand grenades, Carl Gustav grenade launchers, medical equipment, ambulances. Paul Johnson said, that the new support package is specifically tailored to Ukraine's needs. The aid package will add $96 million to the Swedish-Danish joint procurement of CV-90s to Ukraine. This means that Sweden and Denmark will jointly invest $385 million towards this goal, Johnson revealed. The minister noted that the package meets some of Ukraine's most pressing needs and is in line with the military capability coalitions that are taking shape within the Ukraine Defense Contact Group. Ukraine is not only defending its own freedom but that of all of Europe. Sweden will stand with Ukraine for as long as it takes. Ukraine at risk of cascading frontline collapse. New York Times. Ukraine's worsening lack of ammunition and battle fatigue will most likely force Kiev to abandon its current frontline positions unless it receives new aid from the West, the New York Times reported. The paper said that Ukrainian defenses near the key stronghold of Avdiivka in Russia's Donetsk region are reeling under relentless attacks and Kiev's problems extend beyond one single battle. Ukrainian troops, the New York Times added, are exhausted and suffer from a lack of weapons and ammunition, especially with regard to air defense systems. According to unnamed U.S. officials interviewed by the outlet, Kiev only has enough air defense assets to last until March unless it receives new shipments. This is far from certain, as the U.S., Ukraine's main backer, is locked in congressional gridlock over President Joe Biden's request to approve a $118 billion security bill, $60 billion of which is earmarked for Kiev. Many Republicans have been reluctant to support the measure, claiming it does too little to improve security on the border with Mexico.
Western officials believe that without U.S. aid, a cascading collapse along the front line is a real possibility in 2024, the article says. Nevertheless, they reportedly estimate that it will take at least a couple of months for the shortages to take a toll. According to analysts, by March, Ukraine could be struggling to carry out local counter-attacks and by summer, Kiev could find it difficult to repel Russian assaults. Without continued US support, New York Times sources say it's hard to see how Ukraine will be able to maintain its current positions on the battlefield. Ukrainian officials have repeatedly complained of a shortage of ammunition, calling it a very real and pressing problem. Meanwhile, the Financial Times reported, citing a senior EU official, that it will not be easy for the Europeans to substitute for the US.